Hello and everyone, welcome. You're watching Parliament This Week, your weekly roundup of all important developments in Parliament. I'm Kriti Mishra and now let's begin the show. BJP nominees Dinesh Chandra and Ram Bhai Mukaria were on Monday declared elected unopposed to the Rajya Sabha from Gujarat as the opposition Congress did not field candidates for the two vacant seats. BJP candidate also won from Assam. Take a look at this report. BJP nominees Dinesh Chandra and Ram Bhai Mukaria were declared elected unopposed to the Rajya Sabha on Monday. The elections to the two seats were necessitated following the demise of Congress stalwart Ahmed Patel and BJP's Abhay Bharadwaj. Both were elected unopposed as the Congress decided not to field any candidate due to negligible chances of winning against the BJP. From Assam, BJP's Biswaji Dimre was declared winner of the by-election to the Rajya Sabha seat this week. The seat to the Upper House of Parliament lied vacant after Dimri resigned from the upper house following switching side to the BJP from its ally, Bodoland People's Front. Kriti Mishra, Rajya Sabha TV. Moving on, Vice President of India and Chairman of Rajya Sabha, M. Venkaya Naidu, on Thursday called upon the people to follow the path shown by Parmeshwaran and strive to build a strong, happier and prosperous India. Delivering the first P. Parmeshwaran Memorial Lecture in Thiruvananthapuram, the Vice President emphasised the need for an India that is free from social evils like casteism and corruption and takes pride in its rich cultural and spiritual heritage. The spiritual, the philosophical, the cultural values, they had to be imbibed by everyone so that they can live in happiness. In the modern day, we are facing unnecessary tensions. If there is a tension, you cannot pay attention. So one has to get rid of these tensions, spiritual thinking, following the path shown by our rishis and also great saintly persons like Parameswaranji, that is the need of the hour. The India must take pride in its rich cultural and spiritual heritage and see to it that it is taken in its true spirit and implemented by one and all. On a two-day visit to Meghalaya, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla also interacted with the members of the Meghalaya State Assembly in Shillong. He also inaugurated the outreach and familiarization program for the local bodies of the state. Take a look. In his interaction with the members of the Meghalaya State Assembly in Shillong, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla said that public representatives have the responsibility of ensuring development of the region, state and the nation. He further added that sharing of best practices between parliament and state legislature will help strengthen democratic practices and constitutional provisions. On his two-day maiden visit, Birla also inaugurated the outreach and familiarization program for the local bodies of the state of Meghale and the other northeastern states. Speaking at the event, Birla said that Panchayati Raj institutions and district councils should deliberate upon developmental programs of inclusive growth and cooperation. He also called for extensive use of information and communication technologies and innovation tools in local bodies to make their administration more transparent, accountable and accessible. District Council ki aaj is shetra mein aam bhoomi ka hai. Unke shetra अपने क्षेत्र के स्ट्रेंथ की पूरी जानकारी का उपयोग कर सकते हैं और इस स्ट्रेंथ को हम अधिक प्रभावी बनाने के लिए किस तरीके से वहां के स्थानीय आर्थिक और सामाजिक योजनाओं को बनाने में हमारी सहभागिता सबसे महत्वपूर्ण होती है सरकार की नीतियां और कार्यक्रम भी इस तरीके से बनाए गए हैं ताकि देश का हर गांव आत्मनिर्भर बने देश का हर शहर आत्मनिर्भर बने ताकि हम आत्मनिर्भर के माध्यम से 
भारत को सशक्त और मजबूत कर सके एक्ट इजी ईस्ट पॉलिसी ने नॉर्थ ईस्ट के विकास के लिए बहुत बारी संभावनाओं के द्वार खोले हैं हमें इन संभावनाओं के अवसरों का लाभ उठाना चाहिए ताकि इस पॉलिसी के तहत हम अधिकतम जनता का कल्याण कर सके He also met with Chief Minister Konar Sangma and Assembly Speaker Meet Balingdo and called on Meghalaya Governor Satyapal Malik. Priti Mishra, Rajya Sabha TV. And Deputy Chairman of Rajya Sabha Hari Vansh outlined the importance of learning history for laying a strong foundation of our future. He was the chief guest at the King of Delhi Anang Pal Tomar seminar organized by National Monuments Authority on Thursday. Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Hari Vansh has said that it is important to understand history. in order to build the future he said this while speaking at the seminar organized by national monuments authority at the heritage building in new delhi the topic of the seminar was the founder of delhi king angpal tomar ii itihas sirf purkhon purvajon ki smriti bhar nahi hai balki wah bhavish se dekhne aur banane ki taakat deta hai durbhagya ye hai ki hamare desh mein इतिहास या इस तरह के विषयों को हमने उनके महत्व के रूप में नहीं पहचाना और जाना हमने सामान्य समझ से जो कुछ पाया और देखा जब नेपोलियन के बारे में पढ़ते हैं कि हेलेना द्वीप में वो कैद हुए हमारे इतिहासकार बहुत बताएंगे पर हम तो सामान्य दृष्टि से जो चीजें जानते हैं तो जो अपराजय व्यक्ति था कैद होने के बाद वह महसूस करता है कि इतिहासी ट्रू फिलॉसफी है सही दर्शन इतिहास है जो हमें बताता है कि अतीत में हमने क्या गलतियां की और भविष्य हम कैसा बेहतर बनाएंगे कि पुनः उन पीड़ाओं को झेलने का हमको अवसर न मिले इतिहास होता है और जिनका नाम हम भारत में अच्छे भाव से नहीं समझते और लेते और सही है चर्चिल दूसरे विश्व युद्ध में जब वो बिल्कुल चुनौतियों में घिर गए और ब्रिटेन का कमान उन्हें मिला तो अपने देश के संबोधन में उन्होंने कहा कि इतिहास में जितना पीछे देख सकते हो अपनी उपलब्धियों को देखो भविष्य बनाने की ताकत मिलेगी उनकी इस एक बात के इतिहास ने फिर विश्व युद्ध की आप स्थिति पलट दी या हम सब जानते साथियों विल डूरेंट जिनकी किताबें हम सब ने पढ़ी इतिहास पर बहुत खंडों में लिखा है दुनिया के इतिहास पर उनके एक बड़ी मार्के की लाइन हमको मिली जो हमारी स्मृति में रहती है कि पिछले छह हजार वर्षों का इतिहास अगर हम देखें तो हमने क्या गलतियां की उनके क्या परिणाम निकले ये समझने की ताकत और भविष्य बनाने की ताकत सिर्फ और सिर्फ इतिहास से मिलता Union ministers Narendra Singh Tomar and Prahlad Patel also attended the event. Addressing the seminar, Tomar said that it is important to hold discussions on history. हमारे पुरातत्व वेताओं के अनुसार अगर हम देखते हैं तो दिल्ली या जो नगर है ये तोमर कालीन है और उस समय ये बहुत समृद्ध नगर था लेकिन धीरे धीरे ये पूरा का पूरा इतिहास वक्त की चपेट में छिप गया और तत्कालीन लोगों ने इस दृष्टि से ध्यान नहीं दिया ये चुनौतियाँ हमको मिल रही हैं उनको हमें स्वीकार करने की जरूरत है लेकिन हमारी ये जिम्मेदारी भी है जो हमारा संकल्प होना चाहिए यदि हम अपनी जगह पर सही हैं तो उसको प्रमाणित किए बगैर हम पीछे न हटे हम उस काम को अधूरा न छोड़ें उसको पूरा करें The seminar was held to discuss Angpal Tomar the founder of Delhi and the 16th ruler of Tomar dynasty. According to historians he ruled Delhi for nearly 30 years but couldn't find a proper place in history. Now Vikram Singh's report Rajya Sabha TV. So that's all we had for you in this edition of Parliament this week. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Rajya Sabha TV. ये